let's make SVG files to sell on Etsy. We're going to make them in Canva. Open up, make a 10 by 10. And we're going to do something simple. Do not be fooled by all these pictures and graphics. Text still sells, y'all. And if you sell SVGs on Etsy and sell them for like $1.99 a piece and just keep going and making them, I promise you'll see results. So Mother's Day is coming up, so I'm doing something real simple. Mom, mama, mommy, bruh. Um, it's been a real popular design out and everybody has a teenager that's calling them bruh. So I thought it would be a really cool SVG file to make. A simple font, simple wording, nothing crazy. These types of things sell like hotcakes because they're so easy to print on your Cricut. So we're going to transport that into a PNG file with a transparent background. And then we're also going to make it an SVG as well with a transparent background. Don't forget. Now we're going to go back to the home screen on Canva and we're going to create another design with a 10 by 10 custom size again. And now we're going to make the mock-ups. So you can go into elements and type in shirt and they'll give you a ton of pictures of people wearing shirts. I liked this lady. It's a Mother's Day shirt. So I thought this would be cute for, you know, a younger mom. Go ahead and find the file and then you're going to go ahead and add it on to the shirt. I have a whole lot of Mother's Day files sitting around in my files. So watch me struggle a little bit here. But it is right at the bottom right there. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the shirt. Now, when you add it, it's going to be over in the side in your uploads. Go to your uploads and click on it. As you can see, it's a little big. So we're going to size it down. And when you size it down, and especially with shirts with folds and things, you want it to look as realistic as possible. So keep sizing until it's perfect. And then we're going to change the transparency down to about 90. When you do that, it looks more realistic and more flush with the shirt. So that looks great. We're going to go ahead and download that mock-up. Um, as a PNG, you do not have to have a transparent background. You want the picture to stay the way it is. Then we're going to do another mock-up. You can use in Canva, they have an app called Mockups. Um, my screen cut it off, but if you go into the app section in your Canva, I am a Canva Pro user. I'm not sure if the mockups is part of Canva Pro. Canva Pro is not expensive. It's $12.99 a month and it's worth every penny. Um, but I was in mockups. I saw a mug. This is definitely something you can add to a mug. And all you have to do is just kind of put it over the item you are using as a mock-up and it just grabs it and puts it on there for you. No adjusting, no moving like I had to do with the first one. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another mock-up. Let's see. Let's do um, another piece of apparel. So I went into the apparel section. Section. This lady looks great. Going to go ahead and size it up so that it's nice and big and everybody can see it when we post it on Etsy. Slide it over so that it's centered. And then we're going to go ahead back to our uploads, grab that PNG, and then, like I said, just hover it over there and boom, it's on the shirt. Um, so that's a pretty cute mock-up. Um, and then you like to give people on Etsy variety. You don't have to do t-shirts. We can do another mock-up with a bag. So I found this one in the mock-up section as well. And then size it up, center it. Go to uploads, click on your um, PNG file and hover it over that little landscape section. And then it turns into the mock-up. Canva is the goat, y'all. If you're not into Canva, get into it. She is the goat. I use Canva for everything. So I went ahead and made the mock-ups, but I'm going to do one final thing. I'm going to go ahead and upload the image, and then I'm going to put my logo over it and make it transparent by half. So like to 50. I'm doing this because when you are selling things on Etsy, especially SVG files, you want to make sure that people are aware that they're not getting a product. They are getting a digital file. Keep in mind that this is a digital download. You're not actually making a shirt for these people. So when you add this to the products for them to see, they can understand that a little better. Now we're going to head over to Etsy. If you don't have an Etsy shop, you can start one. It's very easy. It is free. Um, it does cost like 20 cents to list something on the website, but I truly think it's worth it. Add listing and we're going to go to digital files. I made it. It's a finished product and it was made between 2020 and 2024. 
For the title, you do not just want to put Mother's Day shirt or Mom, Mom, Mama, Bruh shirt. No one's going to find it. Put a lot of stuff. So I'm putting the name of the shirt, Mom, Mama, Mommy, Bruh, SVG, PNG. But I'm also going to put Mother's Day SVG, Mother's Day PNG, Mother's Day funny shirt, Mother's Day gift, gifts for mom, gifts for grandma. This is what people are typing into the Etsy search engine. So when they type that in, your shirt, your design is most likely going to pop up because you are adding these keywords to the title. Um, just a little quick thing on SEO. Now it's going to ask for the product picture. So we're going to grab all those mock-ups that we made and we're going to add them. You can add up to 10. I've even heard that people who do videos have a lot of success. Um, I've never made a video for an SVG because it's an SVG. And once again, you do not want people to get confused thinking that they're buying a $1.99 shirt and it's just a file. So that brings me to um, the next part. We're going to go ahead and add the actual files. So it's the SVG and the PNG. And then you just add it. That's what people are going to receive when they purchase your digital file. In the description box, once again, I just put basic stuff, how to download it and reiterate to people that it is just a digital file, not a actual product coming in the mail. I priced all my SVGs at $1.99. Etsy now shows you your profit. And then you want to put it as $999. Um, it's a digital file. It goes on forever and ever. You don't have to put in a specific amount. This next part is important. You can basically put what kind of craft type. I didn't see that in there, so I kept going. What kind of occasion? They got bachelor party, birthday party, Christmas, you know, all that stuff, prom. Um, I didn't see that in there either, but I did find the holiday, which is Mother's Day. That's going to help people find your items. Then you want to do tags. Tags are also another way that people can search and where they will be able to find your product. So I did Mother's Day, Mother's Day shirt, Mother's Day SVG, Mother's Day PNG, money, Mother's Day funny shirt. Just put as many tags as you can with what you think people would type in the search box um, for your shirt or your design rather. And that is what you want to put in the tags. You can do up to 13 tags. I highly encourage using all 13 tags. Um, the more tags, the more likely someone is to find your shirt. Also, keep in mind that Etsy, they push products out after about six weeks of you posting them. So Mother's Day is in about that time. That's when people are going to start looking for that stuff. So you want to do like if there's a holiday coming up in the next month or so, that's when you want to start making your digital files in Canva to upload them to Etsy because people will start looking for them because they'll be pushed out by Etsy at that point. I put it in my Mother's Day shop section. I put it on automatic and I posted it. They reminded me that it's 20 cents to list. And there it is. That's not it. You got to click dashboard, refresh it, go back to listings. Ah, there she is. Click on it. And then you can even go into view on Etsy. And that's what it will look like to the seller. It looks so good. I love doing this. This has brought in some great income. It's passive income, making money while you sleep. Digital downloads, you don't have to be slaving over a heat press. There's nothing better. All right, y'all, follow me for more passive income ideas. Bye.